Okay, so we're going to find the projection of vector v onto vector u if uh, v is i plus 3j in blue here and the vector u is 4i plus j. Now this is useful uh, for a couple reasons. I think it's useful. First of all, it's useful for finding work in, in physics, how much work you do. Um, and it's also useful because it's, it's a good application of the dot product of two vectors. Okay, so if we want to find the projection of v onto u, really what we're looking for is how much of v is in the direction of u. So how much of the magnitude of this blue vector is in the direction of the red vector? Um, so think about you know shining a flashlight down on this on this diagram and you know perpendicular here, and how much of of the blue vector goes on to the red vector. So we're going to project. That's the right angle there. Project v onto u. Okay. So it's useful. Well, I suppose we have to know what this angle here, theta, is between the two vectors, and this is where the dot product comes into play, because the dot product of u and v, uh, u dot v is equal to the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v times the cosine of the angle between them. And so the cosine of the angle between the two vectors is equal to the dot product of the vectors, uh, u dot v, divided by the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. Okay. So uh, what is this? Well, the dot product of, of u times v. This is going to be <coughs> uh, it's going to be one times four, which is four, plus three times one, which is it's going to be seven. Okay, and the magnitude of u, the magnitude of u is going to be uh, the square root of sixteen plus one, and the magnitude of v is going to be the square root of 1 plus 9. Uh, so the square root of 10. So the magnitude of the vectors are found just using Pythagorean theorem or the distance formula. Uh, the length of the blue vector is, um, you can use the Pythagorean theorem, it's the square root of, of 1 squared plus 3 squared, which is the square root of 10. Uh, you know, same thing for uh, the magnitude of vector u. Okay. So, what do we have? We have the cosine of theta is equal to 7 over uh, the square root of 170. And so this implies that theta is equal to the inverse cosine of 7 over root 170. So we can find that. Make sure your calculator is in uh, degrees. So we do the inverse cosine of 7 divided by the square root of 170. And we have that theta is 57.23 degrees. So theta is equal to 57.23 degrees. It's approximate. Okay, good. So this is an important piece of information. So let's write that over here on the side and then I'll make some room. So theta is equal to 57. 0.23 degrees. Good. All right. So now we're we're projecting v onto u. And so the magnitude of v in the direction of u is going to be the magnitude of v times the cosine of, of angle theta. So if you consider this triangle where this, this is the projection. This is what I want to find. I want to find, so that's the vector I want to find. This angle right here is 57.23. Okay. Well, the magnitude of vector v we know is the square root of 10. So we can find the length of this side because the cosine of 57.23, the cosine of 
0.23 is equal to x over root 10. And so x, the length of the vector that we're trying to find, x is equal to root 10 times the cosine of 57.23. Okay, we can approximate that. So, the square root of 10 times the cosine of 57.23 is 1.712 approximately. 1.712. So then we take this and we multiply it by the unit vector in the direction of v. So multiply, this is the magnitude, this is v here, uh, excuse me, this is u, that's u. So multiply this, which is the magnitude of the projection of v onto u, that's the magnitude. Now multiply that by the unit vector in the direction of u. So take, take the 1.712, 1.712, and multiply that by u over the magnitude of u, which is the unit vector. So I have, this is equal to 1.712 times I'll write this in component form. Uh, u is 4, 1. Divided by the square root of 17. Okay. So that means that the projection of V onto U is equal to 1.712 over the square root of 17 times 4, 1. And then distribute this to both the 4 and the 1. So our projection. So 1.712 over root 17 times 4 is 1.66. And 1.712 to over root 17 times 1 is 0 0.415. 0 0.42. So, this vector that we just found right here, in component form is 1.66 and 0 0.42. That's how you find a projection of vectors.